What's up Rocketeers? We're going to be working with Jaden today on some butterfly. We're going to help him improve his upper back flexibility, shoulder flexibility, and lengthen out his butterfly strength. With Jaden, I usually start off with the same warm up every time, give him something consistent, something familiar that he can get better at and focus on, and it's not something new every single time. It's good to have familiarity with kids, have something that they can, you know, remember that, okay, every time we start practice, it's the same warm up, easy enough, I can do this. Good confidence starts the practice off. So we usually start off with 400 warm up. So 50 freestyle kick, 50 free, 50 breaststroke kick, 50 breast, 50 streamline kick on your back, 50 backstroke, 50 butterfly kick with the board, 50 butterfly. Jaden, go back, you didn't streamline. Ah, wait, what? You didn't streamline. Pushed off in okay. Superman. You didn't push off in streamline, and since streamlining is the most important part of swimming, it's the only thing I'll really ever call a swimmer back for. If you don't push off in streamline, you gotta go back and do that again. There's no exceptions. You have to streamline off every wall. Ready, go. Best swimmers in the world are the best streamliners. Those arms up front, which will make him a little bit better butterfly right now. He swims a little bit too short. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a couple 25s, just Superman dolphin kicking. So every time you kick and press your chest, I want you to reach farther. Reach farther. Now I never want it to be reach, elbow bend, reach, elbow bend. Your arm should stay straight the whole time, but give me a little extra stretch every time you kick. Ready? Go. So I only wanted him to kick. I didn't want him to use his arms to swimming butterfly. But when you coach, I find that you get a lot more yards in when you just let them keep the lap, even if they're doing it a little bit wrong. And uh, it's not usually the worst thing in the world. So he's focusing on doing what he should be doing, even though it's butterfly. That's good, that's progress, but I'll correct him now at the end of the lap. Once again, he's thinking about his arms, so I'm not gonna stop him even though he's doing the wrong kick. We'll let him complete the lap. We'll fix it at the next one. Plus, that kind of helps with the coach's sanity. You're constantly yelling at kids to stop. To be perfect on every single yard. Just frustrates you. All right, we're doing butterfly, right? So butterfly kicks on this. Ready? Go. Third time's a charm. Nice. There we go. All right. Let's do that again. Same thing. Really stretch those arms out. Give me a little extra from your shoulder blades. Reaching, stretching. Ready? Go. Try to minimize the time on the wall for swimmers like this. The more you can swim, the better. You don't need to be talking a whole lot. Decide what you're gonna say, make it concise, break it down, a couple of words, a couple of sentences at most. Keep them swimming. If you talk too much, they're gonna lose interest and lose focus. A good rule of thumb is you have as many seconds as they are old to get your point across. So if he's 10, I got 10 seconds. Nice, that is so smooth. Jaden's like me where his upper back isn't very flexible, so we're supposed to be able to bend through your upper back. It's very hard for us, so we have to work extra hard on all these reaching and stretching and engaging our core so our lower back doesn't do all the bending, but rather our upper back kind of helps take off the load. It's hard for us, but that's what we're working on. You ready? Same thing. Go. 
we're gonna go purple drill now. So you're gonna do a certain amount of kicks per pole. Do you remember this? Yes. Okay. Let's start off with 10. We'll go 225s at 10, 225s at 9, 225s at 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Since butterfly is two kicks per pole, we'll finish with two. Let's actually do these as 50s. We'll do a 50 of each. 10 kicks per pole. Ready? Go. Butterfly takes a lot out of you. We try not to train butterfly to where you can't do the stroke properly anymore because you need to have good technique with butterfly or you'll get injured. At the same time, butterfly is a stamina stroke, right? So you need to have good stamina. And so sometimes you just got to swim a lot of butterfly. Most of the time though, you got to make sure it's short butterfly with good technique. And then sometimes you got to just butterfly, 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 assuming the technique looks good and see how long it takes for it to break down. And then once it breaks down, Sometimes you want to stop. Sometimes you can keep going if you're comfortable with the swimmer and the swimmer is a good swimmer and they're not going to get injured or things like that. With this drill, I want you focusing on extending the arms during your 10 kicks. Usually I say you're not allowed to breathe unless you pull. I'm okay, okay, with, you I'm okay with you breathing in between pulls right now if your elbows are straight and extended and you're really reaching high with your upper back and your shoulders and your elbows and your fingertips. I'm okay if you breathe too often so long as you have those good, nice stretched arms. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, it's a lot better. His arms are smoother, his head position smoother, everything is a little bit smoother, and now his kick is driving him through the water without any extra wiggly body waves. Reach! Nine kicks per pole for the next two fifties. Ready? Go. Okay, same thing. Really strip your arms out on the kicks. When you're kicking, no, no elbow bend, no worshiping the other wall. Okay, no party moves, no dance moves. Stretched arms. Yeah, looks like you're doing the, the wave. Whee! <laughs> Ready? Go. That is funny. <laughs> that is funny. Reach. Thin work on butterflies go, even with adults. The, when you're working butterfly, do a lot of fins. It helps you manage the technique corrections without focusing on just surviving. So now the next two are eight kicks per pull. Very nice. Still push off each wall with a nice tight streamline, okay? okay. Even down there, I want a tight streamline, five good underwater dolphin kicks before you come up to the surface. Ready? Go. I always ask my swimmers, what's the most important part of swimming? And they all answer streamline because they know that to me the most important part of swimming is streamline. Then I always ask, how often do we streamline? They say, off every wall. And even when we do drills, I like them to streamline off every wall. The only time, the only exception to streamlining off every wall is when you're using a kickboard. Keep those shoulders cramping on your ears. They should be snug. Seven, ready, go. At this point, he's starting to get pretty tired because butterfly can be a tiring stroke even when you're drilling. So we might break it up here, do a couple of 25s freestyle just to help him warm down out of it, out of the stroke, relax a little bit, use different muscles, and decompress what he's been thinking about. Good. Before we go on to six, I just want to do a couple of 25s easy free just to uh, mm -hmm. relax out of that a little bit. Or yeah. back stroke, your choice. Ready? Go. Okay, we're gonna go 425s butterfly now. I want you to feel, every time your hand's under the water, I want you to feel that stretch out front. Reach your fingertips forward. Extend your shoulder blades. Ready? 25 butterfly. Go. Very nice. Now his arms are extending more out front and because he's focused on getting them out front here, they're also straight coming above the water too. He's thinking about extending out in front so his arms are, his fingertips are actually extending all the way around, allowing his arms to come out of the water more straight. So it really fixed two or three different things. Ready? That was good. Same thing. Every time your hands come out front, extend as much as you can. Go. A lot of times when I coach swimmers, if I see a problem, I don't address the problem, I just try to find a solution. Because if we can talk solutions all day, it's a lot more productive than discussing problems and things like that. So if I see elbow drag, 
Usually that means he's not using his upper back to help out. And so we need to engage the, core, uh, the, the back muscles to help out to get his arms out of the water. So we're talking about the solution, right? Not the problem. He hasn't heard me once say anything about elbow Ready? Go. I believe the streamline is the most important part of swimming. It's the fastest part of swimming because when you push off the wall, that's the fastest you're going to go in the water. You can't swim faster than that initial burst off the wall, right? So when you push off the wall, that's the fastest you're going to go. So you have to have a hydrodynamic maneuver to take advantage of that speed burst to make it last as long as possible. The streamline is the most hydrodynamic position we can put our bodies into naturally in the water. So that's one reason why. Second reason why is because it sets your body up for a nice long body line, stretched muscles, so that when you come up, regardless of what stroke you're doing, you're a little bit taller, you're a little bit longer, and you're gonna pull more water, you're gonna be more hydrodynamic through the water, you're gonna be more conscious of efficiency and things like that. Another thing that some coaches out there might notice is, now that I've got his arms coming out properly, he's coming out of the water a little too high, his shoulder, his chest is coming out of the water. While that is a problem, we're not going to address that today. We're not going to try and give him a perfect butterfly today. We're going to fix one mistake. I like to approach one thing at a time, just one thing. If we can improve one thing, that's progress. Whereas if I try to fix three or four things, and by fixing one thing, it causes another problem, and then I have to address that, we're not really going to get anywhere today. It's just going to be uh, getting overwhelmed with all the problems that are created by solutions. straight all the way around and every time he kicks out front and extends for that first kick he's grabbing more water so each pull is taking him farther which means he'll go faster because he's pulling more water and he'll have to take less strokes because he's pulling more water so he'll go farther faster efficiency going as far as you can using the least amount of energy each stroke he has to take is a lot of energy so the less strokes he takes, the more energy he has. So every time he does, extends out here, he's pulling more water, which helps him go faster, and then it helps him take less strokes. It's a win-win. Dude, that butterfly was beautiful. Wow, that was awesome. Nice job. Every single time your arms enter the water and you kick, you were extending out front and you were able to grab more water, which helped you go faster because you grabbed more water per pull, and it helped you take less pulls because you were grabbing more water from wool. So you were going faster and saving energy. It was awesome. Ready, go. Give me a 50 easy breaststroke. You're done. 